The welding process of manual arc welding starts with arc ignition. The arc ignition methods include scratching arc ignition and direct strike arc ignition. The scoring method for arc ignition is to first align the tip of the electrode with the weldment, and then twist the wrist to make the electrode slightly scratch the surface of the weldment. Lift the electrode by 1.55 mm to generate an arc in the air, and then keep the arc length at the electrode allowable range of diameter. After the arc is ignited, the electrode is quickly lifted by 2 to 4 um for welding. The manual arc welding operation is a combination of three basic actions, such as advancing in the welding direction, swinging laterally along the weld, and feeding the electrode to the molten pool. There are two main methods of striping, linear striping method, which maintains a certain arc length during welding and moves forward without swinging along the welding direction. In this way, the arc is more stable, and a greater penetration depth can be obtained, but the weld seam is narrower. Draw a circle-shaped moving rod, and make a continuous circular motion at the end of the electrode and move it forward continuously. There are two types, positive circle and oblique circle. The positive loop strip method is suitable for welding flat welds of thicker weldments. The advantage is that it can make the molten metal have a high enough temperature so that the oxygen, nitrogen and other gases dissolved in the molten pool have a chance to precipitate and it is convenient for slagging floating. The oblique ring shaped strip method is applicable. T-shaped and but horizontal welding in the flat and inclined positions, which are beneficial to control the molten metal to avoid the phenomenon of dripping and help the weld formation. The closing, closing action of the closing arc welding bead is not appropriate, and it is possible to form an arc crater lower than the base metal at the end of the weld, which is prone to cracks. Finishing method with a circle, it is suitable for welding thick plates, but there is a danger of burning through thin plates. Repeated arc closing method when welding to the end, repeatedly extinguish the arc in the arc crater start the arc until the arc crater is filled. This method is suitable for thin plate welding, but it is not suitable for alkaline electrodes. Reflow finishing method when the welding reaches the end point, the angle of the electrode is appropriately changed without extinguishing the arc, moved in the opposite direction, and then the arc is broken. This method is suitable for alkaline electrodes. The T-shaped and butt horizontal welding in the flat and tilt positions are characterized by being beneficial to control the molten metal to avoid the phenomenon of dripping and help the weld formation. Briefly introduce the operation of welding in several positions. At the beginning of flat welding, the inclination angle is appropriately increased, and when the temperature rises, the inclination angle decreases accordingly. The angle between the welding wire and the welding torch is maintained at about 90 degrees. The welding wire is always immersed in the molten pool and constantly stir the molten pool. When welding thin parts, the welding wire can move up and down. At the end, the welding torch slowly rises to reduce the tail molten pool. The straight line speed of the electrode should not be too slow, otherwise it will easily cause the slag to be too thick, the molten pool cannot be seen, and it is difficult to operate. For vertical welding, a flame with a lower energy rate should be used for welding. Strictly control the temperature of the molten pool, the area of it. The molten pool should not be too large, and the depth of the molten pool should be smaller. The welding current should be 10 to 15% smaller than that of flat welding. The welding torch should be inclined upwards along the welding direction to a certain angle, generally maintained at 60 to 80 degrees with the weldment. In order to control the temperature of the molten pool, the welding torch can be moved up and down at any time so that the molten pool has a chance to cool and ensure that the molten pool is properly heated. The operation method of semicircular arc-shaped lateral swing and arc ring arc extinguishing. For horizontal welding, a smaller flame energy rate is used to control the temperature of the molten pool. The left welding method is used for thin parts, but the welding torch should also be tilted upwards so that the flame airflow directly faces the welding seam and the pressure of the airflow is used to hinder the flow of molten metal from the molten pool. During welding, the welding torch generally does not swing laterally, but when welding thicker weldments, it can be small oblique circular movement. 
Overhead welding uses a flame with a lower energy rate for welding. During operation, the fusion of the roots on both sides of the group should be strictly ensured, the size and temperature of the molten pool should be strictly controlled, and the liquid metal should always be in a viscous state to prevent falling. It should be slightly larger than flat welding to ensure convenient operation. Pay attention to the operating posture and pay attention to metal splashes and scalds from falling liquid metal. When welding the first layer of the upward welding seam with a groove, the welding rod forms a 90 degrees angle with both sides of the groove. It is at an angle of 70 to 80 degree with the welding direction. The shortest arc is used to push and pull back and forth. The molten pool should be thin rather than thick and ensure good fusion with the base metal. When the temperature of the molten pool is too high, the arc can be raised to slightly lower the temperature. When welding the remaining layers, the electrode swings sideways and stabilizes the arc on both sides. It is difficult for beginners to grasp the tapping method when transporting the strip. Generally, it is easy to extinguish the arc or cause a short circuit. This is the reason for not grasping the speed and keeping a certain distance when leaving the weldman. It is easier to grasp the use of the scratch method to transport the rod. If the electrode is pulled up too fast or raised too high during operation, the arc cannot be ignited or the arc only burns and extinguishes in an instant. On the contrary, if the action is too fast, the welding rod and the weldment may stick together, causing a short circuit in the welding circuit. If the welding rod sticks to the weldment when starting the arc, the welding clamp should be loosened immediately. If the short circuit time is too long, too much short circuit current will cause the welding machine to burn out. The moving speed of the electrode has a great influence on the weld quality and welding productivity. If the moving speed of the electrode is too fast, the arc will not be able to melt enough electrode and base metal, and it is easy to produce incomplete penetration or narrow weld seam. If the moving speed of the electrode is too slow, the temperature of the molten pool will be too high and burn through weldments can also cause welding bead, too white welding bead, metal accumulation, high welding seam, irregular shape, etc. It is easy to weld through when welding thin weldments. Therefore, the moving speed of the welding rod must be appropriate to make the welding seam uniform. When the weld is closing the arc, it is necessary to ensure that the gas inside the molten pool is fully discharged, and to prevent the arc closing too fast and the exposure of the molten pool causing air intrusion, resulting in defects such as cold shrinkage holes and internal air holes. This is the formation of a natural gas pipeline with a thickness of 5 cm after the bottom filling and cover surface filling. When covering the surface, the edges should be clamped to ensure the straightness of the weld bead, so as to make the formed weld bead more beautiful. This is the TIG Natural Gas Pipeline welding knowledge and welding process shared with you in this video. If you need to learn more about TIG welding, please subscribe to my channel, our next video will show more welding skills, thank you for watching.